tag team match that'll be in the ring here in just a couple of minutes. First, I want to call out here the King, Jerry Luller. See what he's got to say about the situation here today. He has had some words in the past few days that, uh, about his fans, or as he said, so-called fans. Well, has a few of them, you can tell, from uh, his walk around the ring, no doubt about that. There he is, King, with a world unified belt in hand and the crown in the other. Yeah? Seems like I got it all right now, don't it, Dave? Well, yeah, <laughs> it kind of does. Well, I do have, uh, of course, the crown and the belt that I've had for a while, but it seems that I got something else here that I want to talk about. Uh, this, I, I don't know if you can see, see what this is right here. This is a, uh, you know, you see the wrestling magazines all over the, every uh, newsstand and that sort of thing. Well, there's also, they, they now put out a thing called Pro Wrestling Illustrated Weekly. Mm -hmm. It kind of keeps you up to date on more current than the, the normal magazines and that sort of thing. And they have a little thing here on the, uh, continued over here from the cover story. As just a little, a little article that I wanted to read, just maybe the first paragraph of, and, and just I want to get this off my chest, get it kind of out in the open, see what's going on here. It says right here, now this, this is what is, is going around nationally. This is the kind of story that they're hearing all over the country. I mean, this thing's printed in New York City. It says, uh, bad blood between Dutch Mantell and Jerry Lawler has forced Memphis area fans to take sides. Three little dots. <laughs> it's, it's got three little dots, and then it says, what does it say right there? It says, and they're siding with Mantell. And they're siding with Mantell. <laughs> now, you know, I re I'm really, I'm really amazed. I mean, there, you know, there's a whole long story. It goes in here to, it goes in here to tell the story of how this took place. Uh, it says that Lawler constantly warned Mantell to stay out of his business, but Mantell didn't listen. Is that true? Or not? Said, stay, said told Mantell to stay out of the way no matter what happened. That's right. And he didn't. He continued to interfere in my matches. Bill Dundee continued to interfere in my matches. A lot of people have continued to interfere in my matches when all I did was simply ask them to stay out of my way. Mind your own business. That's a simple request. If I asked you to mind your own business and stay away from me, what would you do, Dave? You'd stay away from me, right? That's right. That's right. Well, why, why is it so difficult for guys like Dutch Mantell and Bill Dundee to understand this? I'm going to tell you why. I've got it. It's this right here. It's this World Heavyweight Championship belt, and I realize now that people like Dutch and people like Dundee are just like these other guys that I've been wrestling. They're consumed with jealousy. They're eat up with the fact that I have the belt and they don't, and it's as simple as that. But you see, guys, this is not a popularity contest. This makes no difference who the fans over here cheer for as far as this belt goes. The belt belongs to the better man. It's as simple as that. The fans don't win this belt for you. Oh, the fans might win you a popularity contest, but they ain't going to win you no world title. you got to do that in the ring, and that's what I've been able to do. And that's why Dundee and that's why Dutch Mantell are so jealous. Now, Dutch wants to claim that it's something about the fact that he's from Texas. Now, it's true. Uh, Texas is certainly not my favorite place. If they were ever going to give the world an enema, they'd stick the nozzle in Texas. Now, let me tell you something, Dutch. The fact that you're supposedly from Texas, though, has nothing to do with mine and your problem. I just don't like you. I happen to coincidentally not like Dallas or Texas either, but Dutch, I don't like you personally, and you know why. It's because you can't keep your nose out of my business. Now, what I'd like to do for a second here, Dave, if you don't mind, do we have... Do we have another microphone here anywhere? Oh, yeah, what are you, what are you going to tell me? You got a match? Coming? Yeah, we got a match. Yeah, we've got another microphone here. Well, I mean, I guess this match, these guys are coming out here to wrestle. Well, yep. I'm not through talking, though. Well. That doesn't really matter, does it? I'll well, tell you what, if you got another microphone, why don't I sit down here? I'll continue my conversation while these guys wrestle. Will that be all right with you? That'll be okay with me. Yeah, come on around. We've got a mic uh, here under the desk that we keep for spare in case mine goes out. That right there, just grab that. Yeah, Bob, you got a chair for, uh, just, yeah, Bob's got a chair, just have a seat. Uh, yeah. I hear that the tag belts are uh, held up. They are held we're up. We're looking at the new champions and we're fixing to show you why. Uh, Mike Davis and the New York Brawler headed for the ring right here. They uh, want to lay claim to the CWA tag titles. 
Frankie the Thumper Lancaster in there right now. Ben Jordan is his partner. Good luck, brother. Well, these yeah. guys, Dave, are obviously rumored to have a slight amount of brain damage. They're beating on each other before the match started. Well, it is a, it is a little unusual the way they get themselves psyched up for the match, I guess. Now, Six. let me ask you this. Yeah. What do you think is more important right now? Watching these guys wrestle or me talking about my situation with the World Heavyweight Championship? Well, I, <laughs> I, I'm kind of interested in the match here, especially with Davis and the brawler claiming they're uh, top contenders for Wait the... Wait a minute. Uh, what you, you're, you're, what, you're interested in this match, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. The only person that would be interested in this match is the kind of guy that would think a six-pack of beer and a bug zapper is quality entertainment. Now, you're going you're gonna to tell me that you're interested in these guys wrestling? Well, you got Mike Davis in here, former rock and roll RPM, and on the other side, you got uh, Frankie the Thumper Lancaster, yeah, both but, of them yeah, known but, quantities. Yeah, but you got no competition. I mean, look, who is this other guy in the ring? Well, that guy with the long hair there. That's Ben Jordan. He's out of Nashville. Ben Jordan ben, of the Yeah, Ben Jordan weighs 195. Not very big, but <laughs> with... Well, these two guys in there now can go, no doubt about it. A monkey flip out of the ring, out of the corner by uh, Frankie Lancaster, and Mike Davis finds himself on the mat. Well, you, uh, can I continue talking about my situation, All or do right. you want to go ahead and talk about this? Well, go ahead. We'll, we'll kind of try to do both and here. And if something exciting happens here, we'll comment on that, right? All right. All well, right. I, I can go on uninterrupted then. Let me just talk for a second, if I can, about the situation here involving the fans, Dave. I have, I, you know, I have said over the years, I've had people come to me and say, hey, King, what's the deal? One place you wrestle in Texas, you're a bad guy. You wrestle out in Tennessee or Kentucky in that area, and you're a good guy. And I tell them, hey, I always wrestle the same way no matter what. It's the fans who are the ones that change. It's the fans. When I walked out of the dressing room door in Dallas, Texas, the first time I was ever there, I was the same nice guy I am up here, but simply because I was wrestling against Kerry Von Eric, they didn't even give me an opportunity to prove to them what a nice guy I was. They immediately started booing me. And now, though, I can understand a situation like that, but what I can't understand is how the people in this area can be so confused. Anything exciting happening in there yet? I'm not even watching. Well, not, not, not especially. Oh, okay, there you go. All right. Now, let me just say this. What I can't understand is how the people in this area can be so confused. How can they, after years and years of me giving, me, giving them my heart and soul, being the best wrestler to ever set foot in a ring here, finally winning the world championship for him, how can they then turn around and cheer for a guy like Dutch Mantell, who was just recently managed by this big fat slob, Ronnie P. Gossett, and now they start cheering for a guy like, who was it, uh, Chris Champion out here, he was just managed by Ronnie P. Gossett, Why, just a few minutes ago they cheered for the Soul Taker. What's, uh, there's some confusion here somewhere, Dave. Well, there may be some confusion. I must point out that somebody like Chris Champion came out here today to help out someone in trouble, and maybe that's the who famous was in confusion. Trouble? Well, the dirty white girl. Well, so. who cares about the dirty white girl, and who cares about the dirty white boy? Who cares what kind of trouble they have between themselves? They're both a couple of sleaze bags, and they both, you know, they cheat every chance they get. Why would you be, why would you care what happened to either one of them? Well, I, I, you also have a good point. That's why I think the fans are confused yeah, because... You're uh, right, they're confused, and I guess it's going to be up to me to show them the error of their ways. Listen to this here. Listen to this guy. Some guy's over here hollering, shut up. Well, he can't even hear what I'm saying. We, there's some confusion out here. Look at that. I think the fact that you walked away from Dutch and the fact that you walked away from Dundee when they were in trouble and, and, and greatly outnumbered uh, against people who were who were teaming up on them, and I think the fans uh, rightly said, hey, wait a minute, is, is this what the King ought to be doing? Well, Dave, all I was doing was trying to show them how they should act. And believe me, I am not being two-faced when I say this. I would expect them to do the same thing if I had been in their situation because I had asked them to stay out of my matches, don't interfere, and I'm not interfering yours so then all of a sudden when i made that plain and clear everybody gets mad at me when i don't interfere in their matches now did they expect me to come out there and help them after i told them i wasn't going to did they well i don't know well why should they be mad at me no they didn't they knew i wasn't going to help them We've got uh, Mike Davis, who I think just put, uh, yeah, that's it, count of three. He just uh, hit him with an illegal move there, 
I think Davis just got him with a pile driver when the referee wasn't looking. The time on it, four minutes, 50 seconds. They should have been disqualified. See? Yeah, they should have. 4.50, the, uh, dirty, uh, or rather, uh, uh, Mike Davis and the New York Brawler are going to walk out of here with a victory over Frankie Lancaster and uh, Ben Jordan, our first look at Jordan on CWA Wrestling. Well, let me just say this. You know, uh, get Jordan out of the ring or whoever he is because what the people are interested in is the situation with this title right here and the situation between myself, Dutch Mantell, and Bill Dundee and all of these guys who are consumed with the fact that I got the belt and they don't. And in a minute, if I can, I want to try to go over here and I want to take this microphone if it'll reach and I want to talk to some of these fans in a few minutes and just see what their problem is if we can do that. Well, okay, maybe that's a good idea. i tell you what, though, let's take a look at Dutch Mantell. Well, 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 wait a minute, then... wait a minute. We're going to do what now? Take a look at the uh, special wait, video. Wait, but, but if, if, if we got to choose between me going over here and finding out from some of these fans what's on their mind and watching a video of Dutch Mantell, you mean we're going to watch Dutch Mantell? Here is a guy who's got uh, no curtains in his house but curtains in his pickup truck. And you want to watch a video on this guy? Why? Well, for what? He, he deserves, uh, he deserves no, that. Just, the fans deserve no, a look. Let's let him take a look. Here's Dutch. It's a waste of time. Thank you. 